Welcome to our Spring Boot tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with caching in their applications. Our viewer is struggling with testing the at cacheable annotation within a Spring Boot integration test. They've been learning about integration tests for just two days and are finding it challenging to adapt older examples to their current setup. Let's dive into the details and help them out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To test the at cacheable annotation in your Spring Boot integration test, we first need to ensure that our test class is set up correctly. We will use the Spring Runner and the Spring Boot test annotations. Next, we need to mock the setting repository to control its behavior during the test. This allows us to simulate different return values for our cached method. In our test method, we will set up the mock to return different lists of settings for the first and second calls. This is crucial for testing the caching behavior. Now we will invoke the cached method and assert that the first call returns the expected value. The second call should return the cached value, not the new one. Finally, we verify that the repository method was only called once, confirming that the caching mechanism is working as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To test the at cacheable annotation, the user focused on validating the unless expression without using Spring Boot. They created a plain Spring test with a mock interface. The test class uses Spring Runner and Context Configuration. It includes a configuration class that defines the Cache Manager and the Mock Interface Beam. In the test method, the Mock's behavior is defined and the business method is called twice to verify caching behavior. The second call should not invoke the Mock again. The interface My Cacheable Interface includes the at cacheable annotation with a specific unless condition that checks the result's success. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.